For more than a century, the Eastman Kodak Company has been part of our lives, our memories, and our future. Continually pioneering technologies that make the process of taking pictures easier and the results remarkably better. Allowing us all to share the precious moments we treasure, the benchmarks of our lives with those we love. In fact, many of us fondly refer to those special times as Kodak moments. Gets you misty, doesn't it? Yep, they shoveled on the schmaltz pretty thick, didn't they? But that kind of crap doesn't work anymore. People want the latest digital things, more power, more features, wireless contraptions, innovative ways to bring their pictures into the 21st century. Well, guess what, bucko? Kodak is doing it. You thought they were just hiding out, waiting for this digital thing to blow over, didn't you? Oh, sure, for a while they were like, oh, there's no way digital's gonna catch on. Hell, 20 years ago, they pawned the first digital camera off on Apple. But now, Kodak is back. They're taking this digital thing to a level undreamed of. Pioneering technology that'll redefine the digital revolution. I know, big talk coming from the company that unleashed Advantix onto the world, right? Well, turn down your mini-disc player, fire up your Newtons, and listen up, because they're not playing grab-ass anymore. They've got things in their research labs that'll make biometrics look like a Happy Meal toy. I'm talking facial recognition, GPS-enabled photography so my camera knows where it is, pictures that learn and group themselves into stories. We're talking meta-knowledge, cameras that automatically enhance the color of the grass because they know it's grass. Try and patent that. Oh, too late. <laughs> and what about sharing? I'll tell you about sharing. All your friends and family will be emailing their pictures wirelessly to you and sending pictures of grandma's birthday to your phone and uploading shots of the dog wearing those big stupid sunglasses to your PDA. And they're going to be everywhere because now you won't have to be a Navajo code breaker to use digital. And they're all going to look like freaking Eddie Leibowitz shot them because they'll automatically adjust the lighting and the composition for you. No more flash problems, no more red eye. How's that for advanced? Booyah! You know what the best part is? They're gonna turn the schmaltz back up to 11. Oh, yes. People will have their Kodak moments again. They're gonna bring back all those damn pictures of the cute puppies and the cuddly kittens and the cooing babies and that, that doe-eyed kid. You know the one. They're bringing them all back, all in the same spot. And it's gonna be 15 minutes long. And James Cameron will direct it. And Celine Dion will sing the theme song while riding along on a unicorn through a field of baby animals under a big blue sky. And there's not a damn thing you can do to stop it. You were a Kodak moment once. And by God, you'll be one again. Only this time, it's digital. Oh, yeah! Well, we thought we'd wake you up this morning. How's that? <laughs> Wanted to get you going. Give me an amen for marketing, will you? Oh, brothers and sisters, you sound like a bunch of boring Lutherans. Come on. Now, when I ask you for an amen, I want one of those Baptist amen. We're down here in Florida. So, you know, Lutherans live in constant fear that someplace, sometime, somewhere, someone's having a good time. So when I ask you for an amen, let's get going this morning. Give me an amen. That's it, brothers and sisters. It's time for revival this morning. That's what we're going to have. If you thought this was going to be some boring corporate presentation, you can kiss that <laughs> goodbye because this is not what it's going to be about. I'm going to talk a little bit about the changes that we've incurred over the last couple of years and why it's been so important for us. I asked this question before every group for the last four years. In fact, that video was done four years ago as an introduction at the Wall Street Journal conference as a way of outlining our strategy because it's come true today, and I'll talk about how it's come true, because we made a transformation five years ago. How many of you all bought a roll of film the last uh, year? Raise your hands. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Was there one hand? Did one hand go up? I didn't even see one freaking hand go up. How about that? <laughs> all right. Well, think about this. Um, five years ago, we were doing $15 billion in film, consumer film. Today, we'll do less than $200 million in it. So in five years, we've had to completely replace that revenue. We're about a $10 billion company today, to give you an idea. How many of you own a digital camera, a digital camera on your phone? Raise your hands. Yeah, welcome to our world. 
because that's what it's been like in terms of being able to think about it. In 1976, we invented the digital camera. We just put it aside. Our hubris of success at the time in terms of film was so heavy, so huge, we couldn't comprehend that we needed to do anything else other than stay the course and stay the course and stay the course. So the message for you today in terms of being a digital marketing and digital CMO couldn't be more important. I came, from, uh, I came from South Dakota, that's where I'm from, so go ahead and snicker, get that out of your system. In fact, uh, this is what we'd call population density right here in this room, okay? I'm not joking, you'd be about the seventh largest city in South Dakota. If you've ever, anyone ever been to South Dakota? Oh, a few of you have. Anyone ever stay? No, oh, so, so that's good. How many, anybody from South Dakota? No, it's just me. Uh, the other day I had someone and they were from my hometown, so it was kind of nice. So I hadn't seen them in 20 some years, so. It's uh, always someone said, I know somebody else from South Dakota. I said, well, who? And they tell me, and I know who they are. So it's, uh, it's the way it is. The first time I met my wife's great-grandmother, now um, to get approval for the marriage and all that stuff back in South Dakota, my wife is about five foot one. I'm uh, 6'3", 250. She's about 105 pounds. And, and Grandma Agnes is even smaller than her. And she looked up at Tammy, and she looked way up at me, and she looked at Tammy, and she looked way up at me, and she turned back to Tammy and said, isn't he bigger than necessary? <laughs> All right? So I feel a little bit like that. But I'm going to talk about some of the changes that we had to occur. 60% of the people that work for us are new. I'm going to talk to you about some fundamental changes in the business. I mean, most companies won't survive one of these changes, much less all the ones I'm going to lay out for you here today. Because we had to become a digital company. We had to become a digital company fast because of the way in which our market was. But 60% of our people are new. 40% uh, of all commercially printed documents in the world are done with Kodak technology. We weren't in that business five years ago. Now we're number one in market share worldwide, bigger than anyone else in the marketplace. But 40% of every book, newspaper, brochure, printed document in the world is touched by Kodak technology. Over 75 million members are part of the Kodak gallery. Now these are people who pay us money. These aren't people who just go and visit the site. These are people who actually take their memories, their moments, and store them with us because, you know, we have probably the only product that people run back into a burning building to save. That's important. I remember that because back in 2001, I was struck by lightning in my home in South Dakota. Lightning came through the house. I must have really ticked somebody off. Came through the house, struck me. I'm laying there. I'm out. Can't see. Everything's white. Can't hear. Finally come to as I watch my wife go running by with a box of photos going, are you Okay. Right? So I know the value of our brand. Every Academy Award motion picture that's been nominated or has won for Best Picture has been done on Kodak Film and Kodak Technology since the history of the Academy Awards. Every single motion picture. When you look at the business, 70% of our business used to be in this traditional business frame. A traditional business five years ago. Today, that's all digital. You know what, 70% of our business will be digital, almost 80% before the end of this year. Our business is completely swung. At the same time, our business has also swung from a B2B or B2C business to a B2B business. 60% will go to 70% this year. Of our business is B2B, so when some of you are sitting there going, you know, and you can imagine what it was like when you show up at these conventions. I'd say I was the chief marketing officer for Kodak. People would hit me in the shoulder and say, good luck. Because, see, we went dark for a while. We went dark. Why? Because we were making this transition. If we'd done any advertising, any, a lot of promotions or marketing during that time period, it would just reinforce the old message, and you would just thought we were dying faster. So we knew what we were doing. We knew that we had a transitional plan. We put it out. We laid it out five years ago, and it's coming to fruition. In fact, this last two quarters, we've had record profits. 